Safira Radio News Service. Let's begin. Today is Sunday, June 4th. We celebrate the name days of Francisek, Carol, Quirin, and Quirina. We send our best wishes to the celebrants. Today in the early Christian church, we observe the feast of the Holy Trinity. In the parish of Powell Z. Tarsu in Warsaw, the teaching is based on the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. The text presents the disciples meeting with Jesus on the mountain. The disciples receive the Great Commission from the Master, which involves teaching all nations, and Jesus promises to always be with them. This event emphasizes the nature of Jesus as the Triune God. To learn more, visit the church's website at www.christiansimpeland.com. Today, we also celebrate secular holidays. In Poland, it is the Day of Freedom and Civil Rights, commemorating the struggle for rights and civil liberties. Meanwhile, in the Polynesian Kingdom of Tonga, they observe Emancipation Day, which commemorates the abolition of slavery. Now, let's move on to our historical kaleidoscope. In 1133, Pope Innocent II issued the papal bull Sacrosanta Romana, which confirmed the supreme rights of the Magdeburg Archbishopric over the Polish Church. On June 4, 1811, the dramatic school was opened at the National Theatre in Poland. This contributed to the development of theatre and dramatic art in our country. And now, the birthday calendar. In 1943, Joyce Meyer was born. She is an American preacher, writer, and founder of Joyce Meyer Ministries. Her work inspires and gains recognition across many denominations. In 1955, Antje Jacqueline was born. She is a German-Swedish clergywoman and evangelical theologian. She became the first female Archbishop of the Church of Sweden. An interesting event is associated with Archbishop Jacqueline. Before the election, she was asked the question, does Jesus provide a better image of God than Muhammad? Antje responded, to me, it is evident that Christians, Muslims, and Jews worship the same God. She was both criticized and praised for her answer. News from Poland and around the world. The Polish Council of Christians and Jews has made changes to its board. Professor Jerzy Sojka is the first Lutheran to become the vice chairman. The council's aim is to promote mutual understanding between Christians and Jews. The council initiates informational activities regarding both religions. Andrea Tornielli from the Vatican's Dicastery for Communication emphasized the need to utilize modern media and technology in conveying the beauty of the Christian faith. The reform of Vatican media merged various entities into the Dicastery for Communication. Vatican media strive to disseminate the teachings of the Pope and gather information from churches worldwide. The International Association of Methodist Schools, Colleges, and Universities held a conference in London. Leaders of Methodist schools from around the world honored the legacy of John Wesley. The meeting focused on values in higher education. The conference commemorated the founding of the Kingswood School by Wesley 275 years ago. Pope Francis met with entrepreneurs and the Latin American Business Council. He emphasized the importance of culture in business. He emphasized the need to avoid conflicts, train employees, and seek restructuring measures to protect employment. The Pope appreciated the initiative of collaboration among companies and encouraged the creation of networks and mutual support. The service rendered has an impact on individuals and nations. Therefore, joint action and not leaving anyone behind are necessary. Christian community in Iraq is leading a campaign to preserve the ancient Syriac Aramaic language. The Iraqi government recognizes the importance of this language. They have launched a television station called Al Syriania, which partially utilizes the ancient Syro Aramaic dialect. This language was widely spoken by Christians in Iraq and Syria. However, the number of people speaking this language has declined due to conflicts and emigration. There are still several schools in Iraq where the Syriac language is taught. Canada. Representatives of the Mennonite World Conference have initiated dialogues with representatives of the World Communion of Reformed Churches. Both movements originated in Zurich in the 16th century. The aim of the dialogue is to overcome historical differences and build unity in the church. The next meeting is planned for 2025. The history of Mennonites in France dates to the time of the Anabaptists. After the schism of the Amish in 1693, the majority of French Anabaptists adopted the name Mennonites. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the number of Mennonites in France decreased. However, there was a revival after World War II. In 1979, the associations from Alsace and French-speaking regions merged to form the Association of Mennonite Churches in France. Currently, Mennonites are engaged in social service, missions, and theological research. A golden necklace adorned with a prehistoric megalodon shark tooth was discovered in the wreckage of the Titanic. The discovery was made during research on the digital model of the Titanic. 
The finding resembles the story depicted in James Cameron's movie. The necklace, unseen since the sinking of the ship in 1912, has sparked significant interest. Researchers plan to utilize artificial intelligence to locate the family of the necklace's owner. The Titanic is one of the most famous wrecks in the world, and its discovery continues to generate immense interest. That's all in the Safira Radio News Service. May God bless you.